Oh, 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 hey, hello guys, I, I didn't see you guys over there, huh, hey, hey, hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back, hello, I am ML30, welcome back, uh, this is, this is my secret hideout, I've been hiding out here for, uh, a while, that's why I haven't been posting, uh, I've been hiding here, um, yeah, but, uh, you guys finally found me. And now it's uh, it's Christmas time, and I thought it would be a good idea since you guys found me uh, that uh, we we do a Christmas special. So welcome, welcome. Uh, how about we 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 read a story, a, a Christmas story? You could tell I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> But anyways, let's start off with the story, alright? Let's get into the story. Let's get into the Christmas story. Alright, once upon a time, there was a little boy it's time to make a gingerbread man. Alright. Let's make a gingerbread man out of out of this. What what the heck is this anyway? It looks Let's form the gingerbread man. Alright. Boom. I mean, we have one right here. What? Well done. It's time to put him into the oven. Let him burn. Perfect. Now, how about decorating the Christmas tree? Okay, cool. Let's, let's decorate the Christmas tree. I love Christmas. Pick it up. There. It might kill him. Gingerbread man? You good in there? Are you okay? What is that? What is that? I can't even crouch. Dang it. Alright. It might kill him. Ta-da! Oh! Was that the oven? It is gone. But where did it go? Huh? Huh? Hey. You ain't ready yet. Come here. Down over here, come put you somewhere. There you go. Now place it next to the milk. Santa will adore this gift. I don't care. The void of darkness. The void of darkness. We live out in the middle of nowhere. Tomorrow will be a great day. Now it's time to go to bed. You, 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 you want to be a good boy, don't you? Yeah, I want to be a good boy. All right. I hope Santa loves the gift. All right. Santa is coming home. This is a nice tree. Alright, let's ransack this place. What this kid have? Right here, the cookie. What do you got? What do you got, kid? Gee, Santa's... Santa's freaking... <laughs> elephant... <gasps> Hey, kid. Where's the cookies? Only milk? That's sad. Call for you.
Oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for making the game, man. Thank you for making the game, bro. That's how the cookie crumbled for Santa. The end. Wow. Wasn't that interesting, dudes and dudettes? Very interesting. But I have another story for you guys as well, too. The other story is about a snowman. Yeah. Not just any snowman, probably frosted snowman. So yeah, let's let's get into that story as well too. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Toby and a mother named Martha. Mommy, it's snowing! It's snowing! It is, sweetie. Grandpa would have loved to go out to the snow. You want to go out there and make a snowman? You told me grandpa explained you how to make them. Yes, mommy. Thank you. Snowman time. Snowman time. First step is building the body. Some snowballs should do. Let's roll some. <gasps> keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Boom. Done. Let's add one more. Keep rolling, 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 keep rolling. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Boom. Now, a last one. For the head. Alright. Keep rolling, 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 keep rolling. That's enough time to make the body. Alright. Keep rolling. Okay, never mind. Uh what's going on? This is taking shape, but it still needs some decorations. Take a look at this bad boy, mom. Ma mom. Mom. We live like this? Damn. Give me that. I need coal. Oh, oh, that's a big carrot. All right. We need coal. We need coal for his ears. I mean, uh, for his eyes. There we go. Rocks. All right. Put that bad boy on there. Look at that. Look at him. So happy. He's cold, so we're gonna give him a, uh, I think the scarf. Can I grab the scarf now? Alright. I got the scarf. Boom! There he is. And now, the most important piece. What is it? Your heart. Mom. Mom. Where are you, Mom? Grandpa's heart. Yo, 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 my yo, Grandpa, 
Oh, I almost forgot about the arms. Grandpa's favorite collection of reindeer heads. <laughs> there might be something in Grandpa's old two shed that I can do. The, the, the snow inside the house. I didn't build it here. He just moved by himself. <sighs> sure, sweetie. Just be careful, okay? It's really cold out there. I will. Bye, mom. Snowman. Are you really alive? Grandpa? Toby has built his snowman further. He dragged a lot of snow near to it. It's freezing out there. I should tell him to come in. Toby! Where are you? Come back inside for a bit. You're gonna catch a cold. Toby! Can you hear me? <clears throat> oh. Toby? My son. Where are you? Whoa, ice, slippery, sloping. No, he can't be there. He might be in his room. <laughs> oh, dang it, there's snow inside the house now. <laughs> Snowman, are you alive? Snowman turns his head, says, Oh, hell yeah, I'm Grandpa. I'm Grandpa with the eye of Sauron in my, in my, in my heart. Yep, and then we gotta go back and do the house. Oh! Okay, I didn't see this part. Uh. Uh. My father told me he had made a loft down there, but I had never entered. Maybe Tommy or Toby found it and hid in there. <laughs> Hello, Martha. Hello, Martha. Hello, Martha. Oh, wait. If you are reading this, I'm either long gone or dead. And if I have to guess, it is winter and little Toby built his first snowman following my indications a war is being held on a war that has lasted millennia a war you must win 
grandpa got senile at the end of his days and then he stopped building us a bunker underneath here. Told me to stay out, but now I'm in. Once very long ago, on the snow, he who carries the cold began consuming our planet. Transforming it into a white freezing landscape where species started dying to the coldest air in the world has ever seen. This process lasted years. We now call it the Ice Age. What the hell? The human shamness found a way to stop this deity. They were able to catch Onos' essence into a magical rock and separate from the physical body, turning the giant freezing figure of white skin into billions of small cold particles we now call those snow and each year it returns from the sky awaiting to claim its caged soul <laughs> okay Hello. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> okay. We survived that one. So, um. Taking the elevator down, huh? Uh oh. Hold on! What the hell is happening? Wait, wait. Damn, what have you done? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about, but okay. Let's listen to another of his recordings. However, this so called heart rock cannot hold the deity's essence for more than a year, and so we free it. Reun reunity it re reunite it to the body and trap it again inside I knew I wouldn't be with you this Christmas so I managed to make little Toby believe snowman's need a heart and that is the rock welcome to the order of the flake, Martha Stevenson, the shaman. The shaman? To trap the essence into the rock again, we need Onothosis to gain power. We need to reunite his body. Four snowballs might be enough to start. Roll them under the red arrow and he may arrive. Okay. I know you can make him go away again. Just as I did. Just as we all did. The world depends on you, my sweet daughter. Make the snow melt again. Okay. Alright. Now, now what? Four snowballs. 
Four snowballs. There we go. Four snowballs. Now, uh... Another one? I can make another one. Alright. Alright. Okay. Here we go. There's one. Let's grab this one. Oh wait, it... The fudge! The fudge was that man! Give me some of your stuff. Oh, this place open up. The hell is this place? Where we? If it isn't the new shaman, <laughs> welcome to the family, Martha Stevenson. What are you supposed to be? I am a god, a monster, a breeze, the end of the world. And oh, I was close to feast on this infested green minuscule sphere in the middle of nowhere. So much lives, so much souls to be on. What a meal, I say it. And still, as I ate your species, Caught me into the cage, this shining rock. But I had patience, Martha, and I waited for so long. And I'm hungry, so hungry. Humanity and I aren't so different. Each snowflake has each human is unique, so different yet. So useless, irrelevant if I may, and yet each of their compost something bigger, working for something greater, still valuable, separate. You humans will be a great piece to my snow, the only species that contained me. I will tell the tale around the universe. Honestly, you have my fascination. But now, I shall eat. I had oh Stop screwing around. Give yourself to me. Leave behind the heat, the sweat, the effort, the endless chase of survival. All of you have been 
doing that since your primal times. Why would I do that? I will cage you once again, just as Dad did. Oh, Robert, what a man. You have his eyes and his bravery, too. It seems natural in all you shamans. But you don't have the fl follow that painful path he took. It's like rocks clashing. It causes a spark and it makes them smaller. Idiotic strategy that you humans have done since your beginnings. Snow, though, when it clashes, it doesn't break. It joins into one. It gets bigger, greater. Stop using rocks, Martha. Join my snowball. Let's see how big you can go. I prefer dying. That's a fun statement. You would have died either way. So, as you... Huh? What was that? Toby, you're okay. Ironic. How is going to be in a rock now? I'm not scared, Martha. I can wait another year. I can wait ten years. I can wait until Tobias takes your role. But I want to know as I told your father I will be here when you see the children play with the snow giving it shapes you will think of me you will remember me thus you will feel each year for me to arrive Merry Christmas, Martha, son, the shaman. See you next year. <laughs> Yo. And that's how the snowman melted. Yep, that's how he melted. Also, yeah, it was a pretty good story that case and i have another little short story for you guys as well too there's a lot of story time this is the christmas special anyway so there's a lot of stories going on a lot of scary christmas stories that i'm going to tell you guys so yeah uh once upon a time in a in a little in a little uh, uh apartment building just like the one i'm living in there was a little boy that was setting up for Christmas, and he got visited by a very strange man. <gasps> it's snowing. Oh, open the door. Oh, oh, it's a pull, not a push. What the? Is that what I think? Okay, this game's not gonna take itself seriously. Okay. Is that a... Cookies? Crackers? Sugar cookies? What is this? I just... I just collected something and I don't know what it is. Damn. Mom! Dad! Oh, that's not mom and dad's room. Wait, where's mom and dad's room? 
damn, we live like this? Well, we got one present from Santa. I have no idea what I'm doing. What is this cursed frog doing here? Uh, here? Hello? Nobody telling me what to do. Nobody's telling me what to do. I don't know what I'm doing. Clicking every button. Clicking E. Clicking F. Clicking, uh, okay. Prep a gift to Santa. Place the cookie on the plate under the tree. Hang a star on the Christmas tree. The star lies in the box. Okay. <gasps> Someone at the door. Hold on. I gotta put on the... Hello? H hello? Hello? Someone left me a Christmas present. A star! Why, thank you! Alright, who's tracking snow inside my house now? Alright. Well, you know what? We're done. Oh. What was that? Hey. What are you doing on the ground? Oh. It's the big man himself. <laughs> Hold on! Hello? Oh, I don't like that one bit. Okay. Oh. There he is! The big man himself! Santa Claus! Santa! Santa! And that's how Santa was found by me. Yep. That's why I'm hiding here. Also, there are ones for the folks that actually go out on the street and touch grass. Not like me. Here is the story of Sally. Sally. Christmas Eve, and I'm still taking my clothes off in this horrible town for money sigh i better deliver billy's christmas present before it gets too late i wonder if he even remembers what i look like he hasn't seen me for months not since we he went to live with his father why they have to take him from me. I miss my little Billy. It's all go air for your flashlight. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool flashlight right here. Mother, it's cold, bro. It's cold. Hey, man, what's up? Now, this is a true man right here. Shorts and a button up t shirt. Out in the snow, and then this is a truly. We don't want to dwell on the city dwellers. It's cold. It's cold out here. The white arrow on the map points to your current direction. Look for the yellow. Man, there's a lot of people that look just like me. <gasps> subway! You know, I could go for a Subway footlong right now, man. Remember when footlongs used to be $5? Hey, um... Officer, how's it? What's going on over there? What is this? Someone's... Somebody dead. 
What's up, dude? Interact. I'll just leave the present here. I doubt they want to see me here right now. I better get home before it gets too late. I don't want to be out out after midnight. Merry Christmas, Billy. You too. See now, I'm a different hook. I do the left hook. I do the right hook. <laughs> Officers? I wonder what's going on here. I want to be getting home this way, I guess. I will have to go through the subway tunnel. It's not that much further. Officers, don't you uh, can you can you explain to me what's going on here? All right, never mind. Oh, okay, the subway's down here. Jeez Louise for a subway entrance. Um very cursed I would say. Very cursed. Tasty burger. The cat and mouse experiment. Do you dare to take part in this experiment? No. Hot sausage, yeah! <laughs> I can go for it, Lizzie. <gasps> He's been disemboweled. What sort of manic would do such a thing? I better get out of here before whoever did this comes back. Big man himself? Santa? Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. He's killing policemen now. What a monster. Punch. Ho, ho, ho. Punch. You have a gun on you? Another bathroom. I gotta get out of here. He's been cutting up really bad, worse than the others. If the lacerations didn't kill him, the blood loss would have. Santa? Santa? I don't think it's Santa. Pick up crowbar? Oh hell yeah, now I'm Gordon Freeman. Oh, oh shit! Oh, <gasps> 
Oh. Stay back. Stay back, Santa. Stay back. What the? Okay. Okay. Time to get the hell out of here. I don't know what that was, but okay. I'm not looking back. Okay, I'm looking back. Okay, never mind. Police officers, officers, officers. Hey man, I think that. Okay. This bad man. Mad Santa. It's you again. Get out. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Son of a bitch. Why do they have to keep locking these gates? I'm so close to getting home. It looks damaged. I might be able to. Oh sh! Owie! 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 What the fudge? I was reading you, stupid. Oh, okay. I think I do need my crowbar. <laughs> but where? But 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 where? Oh. X time. Hey Santa. Hey Santa. Santa's strong. He's too strong. And uh Boom. Bada bing bada boom man. Bada bing bada boom. Eviction notice, I'm only a few days late on my payment. They must have changed the lock too. My key won't work. I need to get out of here before Santa finds me. The only way out of here is the, along the train tracks. Santa ain't gonna find me. Santa. Santa. Okay, where we at now? Damn, Santa Claus really did kill the train conductor. El Pistola. Alright. Okay. Now we're not playing around anymore. It's about time we start acting like we the big boss around here. Garbage day. It's 
Santa Claus. Oh, Santa. 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 Where you at, buddy? Where you at? Little pig, little pig, let me in. What is this? Oh, it's another axe. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Tasty burger. I could go for a burger right now, but. Kill Santa. Boom. 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 Oh. Damn. Oh, what the? You're fucking dead, bro. You killed Santa. Merry Christmas. And that's the story of how I met your mother. Yep. 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 Oh, Santa was just a, you know, a, a side story throughout all that, okay? That was just a side gig. <laughs> okay. Last but not least, let's tell you guys the, 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 the last story, okay? The last story is an interesting one. It's a, it's a fairy tale. And, and it's a story too, at the same time. So, let's begin. Once upon a time, there was a little boy that slept in the living room. Late one winter polar night, you find yourself unable to sleep. Awoken with the strange, uneasy feeling with your mother fast asleep, you decide to move to the living room with not much to do. Start reading an old book you found at the town book store earlier that day. It's time to read my book that I got. Couldn't go to sleep last night. I mean, tonight. Read book. Alright. Alright, I gotta find out how to say this thing correctly. Tornukta. Okay, Tornukta. The Tornukta is an evil creature originating from the Alaskan folklore. Its physical form is described by having both human and reindeer cre characteristics. It has the head of a reindeer, but with human teeth, which wrapped around its entire face. It has the body of a man, but with whose feet? Its skin is a pale white but is covered in black fur. And it has eyes that glow in the night. Okay. It is said that to be especially tall when on its hind legs and capable of walking like a human. However, it is also capable of galloping like a deer and can travel at high speeds up to 500 miles per an hour in almost f a floating like manner. Okay, that's enough reading for tonight. I got. got I, I. Maybe I can shove the fireplace? Fire. Mom? Did 
Spooky spare room. Mom's room. Mom. Mom. <laughs> My bedroom. <laughs> I know Santa's coming tonight, but I guess I, I hope he does. the back door. The bathroom. What do I do? The toilet. Hello? Keep reading the book, okay, I got to read the Polar night. The tall noctus is said to only be seen in the months of November through January. During these months, Alaska experienced a time of darkness, also known as polar night, where the sun ceases to rise. It is believed the tall noctus is unable to attack outside of these buds due to the weakness of the sun. Once the polar night starts, the Tornukta is said to be starving and will begin its hunt, invading people's homes and eating them. It is believed that the Tornukta targets those who build their homes far from others in secluded places. Thus, be safe from any attack. People should live closely to one another. Can I start the fireplace? I don't want to be here anymore. I, start, I gotta stop reading the book. You again. I remember you. I rem mm. Okay, I'm not stupid enough to open your door. Hey! Get out of here. Mom! Mom! Please. <laughs> 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 A sign of the tunnel is near is finding snowmen like figures which are said to face the dead and smell like human corpses. This believes such figures was around a house before the tornado decks. Another sign it might be near is excessive feelings of fear or distress with no direct call. Mom, you might want to make up. You might want to wake up, Mom. I don't like this one bit. I'm stressing out. Uh oh. Are you moving closer? 
That's why we should start the fireplace now. I think it's a good time to start the fireplace. <laughs> the Tanuk to care also cares a bag made of fur which is used to steal children from the house. It's a tax. It's unknown where the children go when they are taken. Some say the Tanuk to eats the souls to attain immortality. Others that it keeps them to eat throughout the rest of the year. I know I keep being spooky puck. Mom? Mom? Please? It is believed the only way the Tudukdu can die is to starve to death. So once it finds a house to attack, there is nothing that can be done to stop it. That was a car that was passing by, um, uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, you guys found me, you guys found me when I was hiding for, what, two months? I don't know. Well, when was the last time I posted up? I don't, I don't really even know anymore. But anyways, yeah, uh, I hope you guys like this, uh, this, 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 look, look, look around. Look around you. Look, look at this. We got a Christmas tree here. We got we got two tables, a couch, uh, a fireplace going on over here, and and, and 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 yeah, that's that's about it. Yeah, honestly, I I I'm I'm big muscle big. I wish you guys a merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a good time. You know, partying with your family, partying with your friends, partying with your your guardians and partying if you if you're all alone partying all by yourself it's it's okay we're all here with you i i thank you guys you know, and i hope to see you guys really really soon with uh more content not like this but you know maybe i could make more content like this but anyways yeah merry christmas and have a happy new year everyone how 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 see you later yeah, bye. Bye. Get out of here. Get out of here.